So in this video we're going to be covering changing tiles whilst in the game. Uh, there's many reasons you might want to do this. Say for example you've had some kind of cataclysm in the story and you might want to change uh, a forest into a mountain or you might want to allow the player to build and you want to use tiles for that. Um, you can do that and if you're using um, my collision tutorial code then um, if you run the code after the changes take place uh, the collisions will still be in place so these two tutorials will go in hand quite well uh, enough driveling from me let's uh, get into the code hey man so I recently had a question on the forum uh, in, in programming help in how do you exactly change a tile once the game's running and uh, this is pretty much very similar to tile collision um, it's also very easy to do uh, I'm not going to go through too many things first but uh, just to make sure you have the same things I do I've got uh, a tile set uh, for placing tiles uh, one tile for the background uh, a tile set which is the same as a sprite and inside the room I've just made a little a little room um, I've got a background one tile layer and one instance layer now uh, this code isn't going to work unless you type the name of your tile layer exactly as you have it spelled in the room um, if you don't do that it's not going to work so just try and double check that now all we're going to need for this example is one object I'm going to call it obj mouse and we just need a step event for this I'm going to say if mouse check button pressed and be left then we need to, need to get some grid coordinates so grid x equals mouse x divided by 16 and we want the floor of that and grid y equals floor mouse y divided by 16 and in the manual we want to copy this for tile map, tile map set and paste it into here we need the lay ID so where it says tile sky you want to type in the exact name of your layer and for me it's tiles terrain uh, data we're going to change this to tile so tile equals tile map get we don't need this line uh, we do need to put in our grid X and grid Y for this bit and where data is do we even need that? we don't even need this actually we just need this bit where it says tile data uh, this is the number of the tile that you want to replace where we're clicking so on my tile set layer uh, the trees are number 12 so it goes from the top left 0 1 2 3 and this is 12 so I'm going to type number 12 here oops and we want to put it in the grid X and grid Y coordinates last thing to do is to put the mouse into the room and if we run the game we should be able to paint some trees all over the place okay there we go so now we have the ability to change the tile index during the game uh, you can do a lot of different things with this um, if we're using tile map get 
then we can get uh, the actual ID or number of the tile under the mouse and then change it based on that. Uh, it just depends uh, what you're trying to do and how complicated you want it to go. But for the actual changing tiles, this is all you need. Okay, bye for now, guys.